Kevin, it was maybe not a surprising development, but it does open the door now for Kevin Brady to come out with that tax plan. Yes, and just within the last couple of minutes, we're learning that Republicans in the House will unveil their official tax proposal on November 1st. That's next week. And then just five days later, they're going to take it up for a markup through the committee process. So they, again, with the passage of this budget, are on pace for tax relief by the end of the year. That's good news for investors carefully watching this. But I can tell you that a handful of Republicans voted against this over concerns regarding exemptions to the state and local tax deduction. We should note that most of those Republicans coming from states like California and New York. That said, despite those uh, folks voting against this budget proposal, the budget was still able to pass. Now, whether or not how they're going to pay for it does remain to be seen. Several Republicans I've spoken to following this vote, including people like Chairman Brady, Representative Blackburn, as well as others, suggesting to me that ratification is not on the table despite some floating it. That's good news for asset managers who are very carefully watching that. But take a listen to what Representative Chris Collins, a Republican from upstate New York, told me about what will happen to Republicans if they do not get this done by Christmas. I think all of us know we need this done by before Christmas, or it will be devastating because we will have disappointed our base. We disappointed them on health care. If we disappoint them on tax reform, they're quite likely in frustration to just not vote next November. Meanwhile, the political drama unfolding earlier this week with Senators Jeff Flake and Bob Corker seemingly having no impact on the House's ability to pass this budget. And House Speaker Paul Ryan saying at a press conference just within the last hour, joking that President Trump will be on his overseas trip to Asia when the Republicans in the House unveil their proposal. And, and just a great interview with uh, Representative Chris Collins, but of course he comes from a state of high taxes like New York, and that's been huge when it comes to the SALT deductions. We've already heard from Representative Peter King that he doesn't see a strong prospect for a final tax bill by the end of the year. So what's the feeling atmosphere out there that this is actually going to get done? Well, very great question. And in, and in terms of uh, the coalition, the majority of Republicans from the New York caucus voting against this budget because of their concerns over the state and local tax issue. That said, they were still able to get it on board, surprisingly, with some votes from Democrats. And so the feeling right now, at least, Sherry, is that despite the concerns from several Republicans, they were able to get this through. That's good news in terms of those watching this. But if you, if you mark your calendar for November 6th, that will be the markup. All of these grievances, no doubt, will be aired in a very public, public hearing.